Okay, so first, I just have to ask selfishly, how are you such an executor? Um, honestly, I've always kind of been that way. I feel like if I have an idea, if it's in my brain, whether it's, you know, having long hair that day or a ponytail or going to get some shoes or, you know, doing a makeup line, it's like I kind of have to do it in the moment. It's like it's, if it's in my head, I'm like, let's do it right now. And I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's like a lack of patience <laughs> or, or being an executor. It's a hustle. Yes, I love hustling. I never stop. I mean, working is when I'm m most happy. So it's like, you know, got to keep going. Okay. Uh, so what groups do you think are marginalized in the digital space? That's kind of what this conversation is surrounded by. So I'd love for you to kind of touch on that. Well, a group that's really come to the forefront recently um, within the past few years is boys in makeup. I feel like now it's like not a thing to be like, oh my God, he's a boy in makeup. And when I started in my previous gender, I was a boy in makeup. And I was doing YouTube and I was really sharing my story. Um, you know, I was in high school, I was going through it, I was being bullied, um, I was very different, nobody was even doing YouTube. So that's a group that I'm really happy has come out because it's like showing a lot of people you're not alone, you know, you're not that different. You're not, you know, you, you're talented. You shouldn't be like point and gawked at. You should be applauded for being creative and putting yourself out there. Um, I, really, I really think a group that needs to be more, more loud is the trans community because I feel like with sharing your story, everyone's story is different. So sharing yours could affect somebody that's in the same shoes as you. And at the end of the day, I feel like that's what it's all about, just being loud, being proud, and being unapologetic. What are some tools that you use to be unapologetic? Like if someone's out there struggling with some, something, what would you say are some tactics or some tools that they could use to help them get through that? I think the internet is, it's a really, really powerful place, you know? Like, I truly, when I was going through some of the hardest times in my life, and I felt like I didn't have anybody in my real life day to day, I had people online, and I have people online still. And it's like a place where you can really find, like, your, your tribe. I feel like with things that I say and things that I stand for, it's really powerful to have people behind you that march with you in like, you know, anything. It's, it's, it's super surreal to like relate to people on such a deep level and not really know them, but you feel like, you know, not alone. Community. Yeah, it really is the biggest community. And you know, it's a double-edged sword because the internet is kind of a scary place sometimes. People can say really mean things, but I, just try to you know, stick to the positive and um, really weigh the pros and cons because I feel like there's so many more pros in the internet.